Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us again on another episode of Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. My name is Melvin Dothan, Application Specialist here at Mamaki USA. Uh, on this episode, we're gonna go over how to create a textile UV backlit application with, using our newest model, the UJB100 Plus. Um, here we have our textile backlit that I've already printed, um, but we'll go over and show you the full process on how to load your machine, how to print it, what type of settings you use for that machine. Here's a 10 foot version of our backlit application that was produced on our UJB55, which is a 10 foot roller roll UV printer, which allows you to do the same types of applications that you can do on our 64 inch. The UJV100 Plus allows you to print color white color, which is a three layer application. Uh, you're hitting it with two layers of color. That way when the light hits it for the backlit application, it's not washing out your color. So that way you get a true color application, true color accuracy. Um, when you do have the light box on. Here we have our UCJB300, which is the bigger brother, so to speak, to the UJB100 Plus. This is our print and cut model. Um, and here we were demonstrating the same process as the backlit application, but instead of the textile, we're using a clear PVC. So the great thing about UV is you have a lot of print versatility. This is the PVC backlit, opposed to the fabric backlit that we'll show in the demonstration. So like I mentioned earlier, we have our UJB55, which is a 10 foot roller roll printer, or you can print two 60 inch rolls simultaneously. Uh, the great thing about this is obviously you get a larger print area. So this is 100 and up to 123 inches. Uh, this graphic is the exact same graphic that you saw earlier, which is the backlit that we have here in our Atlanta Technology Center. Uh, it's a great piece. It shows a lot of color and vibrancy. Uh, like I said, this is basically scales up your business. So even if you're doing smaller graphics where you're only printing up to five feet, you can go all the way up to 10 feet with the same process, which is really cool with Mamaki technology. Uh, we scale up based on your productivity. So to start off the basic loading process for the UJV100 Plus, uh, your material is gonna sit on the back here on the uh, take up reel, and you're gonna feed your material through the back just be careful, obviously, when you're dealing with textiles, your materials can be very film flimsy. Uh, we do have a lot of pinch rollers on the UJB100 Plus that allows you to hold materials like this. So you're just gonna feed your material in. And once your material is past the pinch rollers, you're going to drop your pinch rollers on it. And now the material is gonna be held by the pinch rollers. So now that we have our media loaded onto our printer, we're gonna set up our print file for printing. So here I have my print file, it's a 20-up file. I'll show you the preview here. You can see my file, it's 20 up, and it also has register marks, so that way I can cut it in the post-process. Post uh, the key thing that I wanna show here is the print settings. So for the UJV100 Plus, uh, we have a polyester profile because I am printing to a polyester material. Um, and it, the key thing is it's for backlit. Now, a lot of your backlit applications you're gonna to wanna to print with two hits of color. So under the overprint, it defaults to two prints because it is a backlit profile. Um, and the reason for that, like I said before, is you wanna make sure that the, when the light hits it, it's not washing out your colors. So that way when your blacks are hit by light, it doesn't turn gray. Um, so you'll notice that when you're printing, uh, your colors are gonna look a little bit more saturated than normal, but that's intended because the application is intended for light to hit it. Um, so we'll have uh, 12 pass, two overprints. We'll have bi-directional for speed. And then for the layout portion, because my file is a 20 up file, because I nested it that way uh, in the art creation, um, I'm gonna send five copies of that. So that way I'll have a hundred copies total. Um, I'm gonna make sure that it's centered in the middle of my material because my file is only 48 by 48. And then from there, I can literally just hit print. Now you can see with the print process, it's actually laying down two layers of color. So it looks a little saturated, as I mentioned before, but this saturated look is intentional because once the light hits the, the print, you're gonna notice that it's gonna be a true color image.
So here we have our two prints. I just cut them off the machine uh, using fabric scissors. Um, these are really fancy fabric scissors, um, but basically they're scissors intended for cutting fabrics. Um, if you do end up having issues with your material frame, we also have what are called peaking shears. And basically it cuts your uh, print in a triangle-like pattern. And I'll demonstrate that here. Um, basically we're just gonna cut along the color here. And with the peaking shears, because it's cutting in that pattern, it reduced fray. Um, if you're not having fraying issues, you can just use regu regular straight edge scissors. Like that. So now you can see the material is nice, clean cut all the way up. And we'll just cut that all the way around. Once you have your print completed, you'll see that because there's no fraying, you have a full clean cut image. And on the back side, as they sell, um, this is a backlit application. So the light shining through will allow you to see a full color image. So as you can see with the light box, we'll use the light box as an example. When the light off, you see that image, turn the light on, and now you can see you have your true color image. And this is what I meant by making sure your material is saturated because once that light hits it, the colors are really gonna pop. Um, so all of that stuff is intentional. Um, in comparison to the UV prints that you see here that are printed on clear, this is just a double hit of color. So two layers versus three layers for clear. Um, both have their places where with clear, you can do cool spot color, uh, clear areas versus the textile. Now it's soft signage, you can do SEG tracks or you could just do a handheld sample just like this.